Hi, this is Sir Joben and welcome to our Math Lessons channel. If you are new in this channel, please do click the subscribe and the notification bell button for you to be updated whenever I upload a new video lesson. In this video, we will talk about visualizing and multiplying of fractions in a whole number and another fraction. For our drill, write the correct fraction for each model. You may write your answer on your paper. So for number one, the fraction part there is equal to one fourth. One there is our numerator and it tells us the number of shaded part while four is the denominator. It tells us the equal number of parts in a whole. For number two, that's equal to three fourths, meaning there are three shaded parts and there are four total parts in a whole. For number three, that's equal to four fourths. Four fourths or that's equal to one. It's because if we are going to simplify four fourths, we are going to divide four by four, the answer is equal to one. For set B, use rectangles to represent the following fractions. Number one, one half, number two, two and one third, number three, two fifths. So for number one, to represent one half, we need to draw one whole rectangle. Then, divide it into two equal parts. Lastly, shade one part of a whole. So that's equal to one half. For number two, we need to draw two rectangles and then another rectangle, but it is divided into three equal parts. Now, we have two whole rectangles and one third of another rectangle. So, that's equal to two and one third. For number three, to represent two fifths, first, we need to draw a whole rectangle and then divide the rectangle into five equal parts. Lastly, shade two parts of a whole. So that's equal to two fifths. And now let's try to answer this problem. Anton bought five packs of jasmine rice at the store. If each pack contained three fourths kilo of rice, how many kilos of rice did Anton purchase in total? So how are we going to represent this problem? So to answer this problem, we can use rectangles or bars. So we can draw five rectangles or five bars. So this represents the five packs that uh, Anton bought. So it is stated that each pack contained three fourths kilo of rice. So we are going to divide each pack into four equal parts. Since each pack contains three parts, so we are going to shade three parts of every pack. So another three packs. So the shaded parts there represents the amount of rice contained in each pack. Now we are going to count how many parts are shaded in all packs. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
12, 13, 14, 15. Alright, this time, we are going to combine all of the shaded parts. So we, are so, we are going to draw similar number of rectangles. And then, we are going to combine all the 15 uh, shaded parts. And as you can see, there are 3 uh, rectangles there that are full. So, that means that's equivalent to 3 whole rectangles or 3 whole packs and another box that contains three fourths kilo of rice. So in total, Anton bought three and three fourths kilo of rice. Let's try to multiply some of this fraction by representation. What is one fifth of half? or one-fifth of one-half. So, para ma-represent ito, una, gagawin tayo ng isang buong rectangle or buong bar that represents one whole. Sunod, hahatiin natin ito sa dalawang parte. So, ang shaded part ay nag-represent ng one-half at ang kabilang side naman ay nag-represent sa another half. Sunod, hahatiin natin ang uh, 1 half into 5 equal parts at isi-shade ang isang bahagi. So, you can see this part, this is 1 fifth of 1 half. Pero sa kabuuan, yan, sa kabuuan mayroon na tayong 10 parts. So, kung bibilangin natin ang parting ito, Ang parting ito ay nag-represent ng one-tenth of a whole. So, therefore, ang one-fifth of a half or one-fifth of one-half is equal to one-tenth. Another one, what is one-third of three-fourths or one-third of three-fourths? So, para ma-solve ang problem, una, gagawin tayo ng isang bar or isang rectangle that represents one whole. Sunod, hahatiin natin ito sa apat na parte. And then, to get three fourths, isi-shade natin ang tatlong bahagi nito. So, that represents three fourths. Next, supposedly, hahatiin natin ang 3 fourths into 3 equal parts. Since nahati na ito sa 3 equal parts, so kukunin na lang natin ang 1 third nito. So, isi-shade natin ang isang bahagi. So, that represents 1 third of 3 fourths. Pero sa kabuuan, ang parting ito ay nagre-represent ng 1 fourth of a whole. So, ibig sabihin, ang one-third of three-fourths ay equal to one-fourth. Let's try to do another way to solve one-third of three-fourths. So, una, luguhit tayo ng isang bar at hahatiin natin ito vertically into four equal parts. At isi-shade natin ang tatlong bahagi nito. So, that represents 3 fourths. Next, guguhit naman tayo ng isang uh, bar, equal bar, sa una nating iginuhit. At hahatiin natin ito horizontally into 3 equal parts. Sunod, isi-shade natin ang isang bahagi nito. So, that represents 1 third. Next step. Iko-combine natin ang mga fractions. So, ang 3 fourths dito, saka ang 1 third dito, ay iko-combine natin. So, as you can see, ang bago natin figures ay mayroon na 12 parts. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
So, meron tayong 12 parts. At saka dito sa ibaba, nakikita ninyo na may parts na naka-double shade. Or, may pulang shade at saka green shade. So, that represents their product. So, meron tayong tatlong parts na naka-double shade. So, that's equal to 3 over 12. Or, ang 3 over 12 ay pwede pa nating ma-simplify into lowest term by dividing them with their greatest common factor which is 3. So, that's 3 divided by 3 and 12 divided by 3. That's equal to 1 fourth. And then again, we get the same answer using the different uh, methods or different ways.